Hey guys, what's happening? I'm in this really cool tiny house that we're building. It's actually gonna go on the water. The house will be rolled onto a crane barge and then it's gonna float out in, the, in Lake Michigan. It's a really cool house, but I'm not here to really talk to you about that. What I wanna teach you is how do you install an outlet. What we have here is brand new construction. This is actually Rolmex. You'll know whether you have Rolmex or say conduit in your house based on the type of box and also how many wires are coming out of the outlet. What you're gonna look for is the blue box and then you'll see the three wires. One of them will be a bare copper, that's your ground. And then you have your white, that's your neutral or your negative. And then you have your black, which is your hot or your positive. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a favor. If you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button below and also I know you're gonna like this video, so just hit the like button before we get started. It really helps, that way you don't forget at the end, and it allows us to grow our channel and do more how-to videos about all these kind of simple things of how to fix up your house. Now that I've got that out of the way, here's our outlet. So we're gonna be using what's called a Decora outlet. This is a more modern style. You might have the round ones in your house and maybe you've seen these in somebody else's house and you're like, man, I really would like to upgrade these, but I don't want to pay somebody to come in and put all these outlets in. I want to do it on my own time. So that's what we're here to teach you today is how do you install a Decora outlet and change out all the outlets in your house. So we're going to start with this, we're going to end with this, and we're going to put it on the wall. First thing you're going to want to do, shut off the power. Before you go any further, just shut the power off to your house. I'm going to teach you how to understand this to where you're gonna know how not to get hurt, but in the event that you can't shut off your power, pay attention to the different principles I'm about to teach you so that you don't get shocked, but um, just so that you don't get shocked anyways, just shut the power off to your house, even if you gotta shut all the power off to your house. Just make it safe, that's all I'm asking. What we have here is we have a ground wire, we have our neutral, which is our negative, we have our hot, that's our positive. So our hot, these wires are what's controlled by the breaker in the panel. The whites, they all go to a common neutral bar. So there's no fuse on these. So when you shut the fuse off to your house, what you're really doing is you're just shutting off the power coming to the outlet. So let me explain this in the simplest way possible. So you've got your panel, okay? And you've got your breaker switch in your panel. And you got this line that comes all the way over and it comes into your switch right here, right? So it has a black wire that's connected to the breaker and then the white wire, so this is our hot, and then our white wire, which is our neutral, is gonna be tied into what's called a neutral bus bar inside the panel. It's gonna have all these little screws and there's gonna be a bunch of these, but. The one we're talking about is just gonna go right into one of those terminals. And that is our neutral or our negative for simplistic purposes. The way that this flows is you have your hot, which is bringing power to the switch. And your negative or neutral is bringing that power and returning whatever's unused back to the panel. Why is this important? In the event you couldn't shut off the power and let's say you had three of these neutrals or two of these neutrals. And I'll explain that by just adding one for the purpose of today. So in some cases, you're gonna have, and I'll just tuck this up here just to show you. What if it's like that? What if you got two whites? And let's say that they're connected, but somebody did a really crappy job, and when they spliced it all together, originally when they trimmed your house out, um, they didn't twist them together. They just took a wire nut, and, and put them on like this. Now you go to open this all up, you're gonna change that outlet out, and you bump this wire nut, and these come apart like that. If the power is on, this is probably the most dangerous situation in your house when it comes to electric, because these are pulling. So remember, this, these wires are trying to return power to the panel. Now. Electricity is conductive, so if you had a tool and you were between these two, you would complete the circuit. But if you've ever known, known anybody to get shocked, you'll also know that your fingers can also connect and create that and complete that circuit. Now the reason this is the most dangerous is if 
you get between these two wires and that power is on, this will not push you away. It will pull you into the panel. And like I said earlier, the neutrals are not on a breaker. They're just to the bus bar. The hots are on a breaker. So even if you shorted something, the odds of it blowing the circuit breaker are very rare in a traditional sense. Now there's other types of breakers that monitor for this type of activity, but in the most simplistic sense, if you get between these two, it will pull you in. And that's when people get hurt. And that's, you know, when you hear about people getting electrocuted to, uh, and dying, it's because they got between the neutrals and it pulled them into the circuit. And literally, it's very hard to let go. Now, in the sense of the hots, if the same situation was to occur, it would go and it would push you away. And if you were to ground out that hot, it would probably trip the breaker. The neutrals are more dangerous than the hots in this case because these will pull you in and these will essentially just give you, they'll give you a, a good jolt, but they're gonna push you out. Because again, it's power coming to the circuit, not trying to return. And I really like to explain those principles because I think it helps give a lot of confidence in understanding what it is that you're looking at. Back to this, we're gonna put a hook on our ground. We're gonna put a hook on everything actually. So you wanna strip these out and then you're just gonna fold them over like that. Trim them about the same. Now in the case of, um, let's say you're replacing these, They'll probably already have hooks on them, so all you'll need to do is just unscrew them and then re-hook them on. So now we're gonna hook these on and we're gonna tighten them down. Okay, and just in case, because I know I didn't really explain what the ground or where it goes, it's much like the neutral. It, in the case of Rolmex, it's gonna have its own bar where the ground is also just gonna go right to its own little bar, same way as the neutral. In the case of a conduit house where you got pipes, the box itself and the electrical boxes and the pipe, that acts as the ground. And essentially does the same thing. So now that we've got our outlet trimmed out, it's a really good practice, especially if you're working with this stuff for the first time. Just go ahead and throw some tape on there. That way you don't ground anything out. What I like to do is I'll push this sideways like this and kind of relax the wires before I go and tighten it down to the box. And then once it kind of sits nice like that, then I'll come back. And you can use either a flat blade or a Phillips, but typically, Phillips works good for this. Find your hole, crank it down, and then you find the other one, crank it down as well. By doing that, you're not putting all the stress on these brackets and then causing it to get bent because nobody likes a crooked outlet, especially one that's all sunken in and goofy. And then once you've got it like that, you'll come back, you'll put your cover on it, and you will be all done. I hope you've enjoyed this. As always, if you haven't subscribed by now, I don't know what you're waiting for, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and if you have any other questions, whether it's about electric or anything else to do with your house, and you wanna see a video on something else, leave those in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.